I'm gonna be giving you a guide real quick on the water that you should be drinking, okay? I'm very into health and fitness, and so this is basically for that, okay? You want good water so that your health is maximized and also so you can get better uh, performance and your fitness and everything. Water is pretty good. Now, up until this point, I haven't been drinking water whatsoever for the simple reason which that the water today is very polluted okay if you get it from your tap water like you know there's fluoride in there there's birth control in there there's microplastics probably in there it, it's pretty horrible um, and so then I, I got this idea right so you can get a reverse osmosis water filter they cost a lot of money but what it does is it completely gets rid of water uh, everything from the water and so it just becomes pure h2o the problem with that is that now it is basically as if it was a gym with no equipment inside it it's like yeah okay you have the gym but is it even really a gym because you can't even use the gym yeah you can't even use the water the water it just passes right through you when I, when you don't have any of these minerals i i've tried drinking um this water it still came in a bottle this wasn't a tap water that i filtered out myself but it, it, every time i drank it i was thirsty and i left and i came back and i was like fuck i'm thirsty again i went i drank it i was even more thirsty it, it just it felt like it was going right through me and um the reason why that is is because obviously the electrolytes are needed and, and all that to absolutely absorb the, the hydration and the water and all that. And so since you don't get the electrolytes and the minerals and the shit with the water, you have to take it from what you get from the food. Now obviously what you get from the food is basically for nutrients, you know, for, for the things that you wanted the food from. It's nothing to do with water and so there's this really big problem going on with that where I just didn't even like drinking that water and actually... You know, my parents are a little bit mad at me, or I guess my dad is, <laughs> because of this situation where I haven't been drinking water the whole summer. I haven't drank water, except from when I'm at the gym or something, because obviously I really need to drink water at the gym. But other than that, I've been drinking fruit juices and milk, specifically raw milk. And these things have their hydration, their water all intact. It hasn't been polluted with fluoride, obviously. The fruit is organic where I get it. And also the, the raw milk is completely unheated. So the electrolytes aren't gone. And the cows uh, eat grass and drink water from like the rain, I guess, or whatever. And so it's really, 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 really hydrating. Like one cup of raw milk or fruit juices is like literally five cups of normal water it's literally insane it's night and day difference it is so hydrating it was almost it was like pleasantly like blissful of how hydrating it was it was insane so i was drinking a lot of milk a, a lot of fruit juices and you know my parents didn't really like that because it, it you know i'm literally not drinking water and so i've been really looking into how can i actually get water just because it's a little annoying having to drink so much milk and everything and it's like can i get a good source of water you know one that doesn't just pass right through me one that i actually absorb just like the raw milk and the fruit juices but that's not polluted and i came up with this okay so basically i found this in, in a in a grocery store like my dad recommended this to me as well and it's called highland spring water this is the brand i personally recommend because a lot of these bottled waters come from springs, but I don't know what springs they fucking are or something because they never taste different or feel different. Every bottled water I've, I've said, um, like before, it, it just passed right through me, just like a, you know, water without any nutrients in it. This one, when I tasted it, I was like, what the fuck? Like, it literally, it had a different taste. This is the only water I've ever tasted that has a different taste and it feels so much better like i don't even know how to explain it it's like s tier water and I, I cannot recommend this brand enough obviously i'm not sponsored or anything i have fucking eight subscribers but like you know what i mean basically what you want is to find water that's from a spring and ideally a really legit spring that's you know really high quality like here on the back it says that it's basically water that is untouched from like thirty thousand years ago so you don't want it to be polluted when it's polluted with shit with you know people like plastic in it and shit that can that kind of stuff can kind of fuck it up now this is basically from this brand you know i like this the most it is basically top one percent like the best s tier water that you can get except this is the one big problem with this it comes in plastic it's in plastic now i don't know if you know this or not but plastic is an estrogenic and the reason why it is, it's an unnatural thing that we've made. It actually came from the birth control pill. So they were making birth control and um, they were like, oh, okay, so this liquid, which if you take it in, like you literally like 
get rid of the baby or whatever, like the conception. And so they basically thought, oh, wait, what if we solidify it? They solidified it and they turned it into plastic. Every single pe- like person back then, which would be your grandparents today, or maybe your great grandparents, I'm not too sure. Actually, yeah, my grandparents. I've, I've talked to this. I've talked about this with my granddad. They were all saying, no, we don't want this plastic. We don't trust it because it comes from birth control and all. And um, and they would say, no, trust me. Uh, you know, it does not leach. It's like, it's just, it stores it, but it doesn't leach. It's like, you're not taking in any of the birth, uh, birth control or anything. You know, a few decades later, infertility is at an all-time high they've looked into it and actually you do actually swallow a lot of this so i don't even know like the exact amount but what i do know is if the average person drinks only from bottled water then per week that would come out to eating one credit card now i would take out my credit card right now to show you the fucking size but i think you can do that yourself i don't want to get my details hacked right so that's basically how much it is for the average person if they survive off of drinking this. Now, I don't know if that's like a gallon of water a day or what, but there's a lot of microplastics in the environment. They've done a lot of studies where they've shown dogs have literally microplastics in their testicles, and that's dogs, okay? This, ours is probably even worse because dogs don't wear clothes. We do wear clothes. Clothes nowadays are polyester. Dogs don't hold on to mouses, and it, it has, it's worse, basically. And that's that's really the only problem the only thing i can say for water is s tier would be this type of water at least this was what for me uh from an actual real pollu- a non-polluted spring which comes in glass okay a step lower from that would probably be you know the, the best water on earth which um obviously it's subjective uh, no it's not subjective at all it's subjective but it's based on what you like taste the best and what is near you and uh, stuff this one works really well for me and then uh making sure it's in glass and then a step lower would be you know if it's plastic it's all right but i'm gonna move these over into like i have a bunch of bottles i'm gonna move them into a a, a glass container just so that it stops you know the seeping in from the microplastics so that's that's obviously gonna happen a step lower from that i would say probably would be reverse osmosis water because it's just pure water of course the fact is it's it's like a gym with no equipment and um, it has to take the electrolytes and all that shit from your food it's a bit of a problem but at least you're not getting the bad shit in there as long as you're not getting the bad shit in there from the regular water that we consume nowadays at least you got that going for you okay because you're still gonna absorb the water okay it's gonna feel like it's going through you but you're still gonna absorb it a little bit but yeah and the last thing is if you're interested in this topic of fluoride and <laughs> making sure you don't get like a bunch of weird chemicals in your water that they've uh, kind of laced with nowadays which is, it is really weird, isn't it? That, you know, the water has fluoride in it added to it. It's like the only things they add to it. You know, that I've talked about, you know, how there's bad things in the water, but some of that is literally just because, you know, they piss it out and then it goes into the ocean and it gets into our system. But like, the, this is actually something like they have and they add to the water. Why do they add fluoride because of teeth, of, of like tooth decay? Why would they do that? Like, that seems so weird. Like, okay, where does that even end? So people had like a tooth decay problem and, and like deficiencies with tooth and stuff. So that is fluoride into the water. Obviously, this is because of the bad diets. Uh, with a good diet, this wouldn't happen, right? And so, well, why don't you add vitamin D into the water? You know, because people aren't getting enough sunlight. That's like saying that or it, it could even get spread to anything else and controversial things like, you know, are supplements healthy? Why not put a bunch of nutrients in the water then? You know what I mean? It, honestly, be careful with that. I, I would just really get that out of the way. I, I don't really want uh, any fluoride in my diet at all. Um, toothpaste is a big thing of fluoride. In fact, it has so much more fluoride. It's insane. Of course, you spit it out, but um, it stays on your teeth. Okay, you put it on your tongue, you basically drink it. I mean, you're, you're basically swallowing even a little bit of it too. Oh yeah, and just to show you, this is watermelon juice. I just juiced it myself a little bit ago. 